So anyway, just, just to get started really quickly, so I'm curious, like, were you surprised actually by the success that, like, you know, your webcomic Mega Tokyo has taken? Like, you know, we started yeah. off as a really small thing, ended up getting, becoming really well, big. Well, yeah, I mean, it was it was probably the, the best way these sort of things happen. It becomes, it just sort of feels accidental mm -hmm. in some ways. I mean, it's, uh, part, part of it has to, has to do with, I, I was sort of lucky because um, I got into anime and manga as, as a fan and, and, and digging in and trying to find things. So mm -hmm. probably a lot, you know, a lot long before it became, uh, you know, more mainstream like it has these mm -hmm. days. And, uh, so when I started doing, you know, my comic, I I'd already had a, a strong background. In, yeah. in, really, in, when did you get into like, you know, well, you know, when did you get? Do you think you got into oh, anime? Um, well, it, it's one of those things where when I was a, a teenager, I wanted to be a, I wanted to be an animator, like for Disney or something. It's about but, roughly <laughs> we are now. Uh, well, let's see. I, I well, if, it's, if it if it, if it picks out my, my my age at all, uh, at, at the time, uh, animation was a dead industry in this country completely. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was in college, I was just about to graduate from college. The Little Mermaid came out. Ah. So, wow. <laughs> and I'm like, I could have been in on the ground floor and stuff like that. But uh, you know, on the flip side, it's uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't because I've sort of been able to develop my own thing instead of learning to draw like someone else or part of another group. Mm -hmm. um, and um, as far as how I got into anime. It, 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 it's like there's always this search for stuff that appealed to me, and mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't. I was you know not a mainstream comics fan, not a you know independent comics had a certain flavor to them. There's little pockets that you would find, and, and then you'd come across stuff like Apple Geek, Apple, uh, not Apple Geeks, uh, Apple, uh, Apple Seed. Oh, I love that Apple, one. Uh, okay. Or Maison Koku in that first. Time. I'm like, what is that? I need more of this, you know. And then <laughs> I, I rented a video from a, a video store. It was a Versailles Sura. Which is a very strange little series, but it was fun. But there was an ad at the back for Kimigura Orange Road. I'm just like looking at that, going, I gotta get that. That, that that's what I want to watch. <laughs> so nice. and that sort of started. And then, you know, it's like I became a fan of that. And then the internet was just starting to really be something that people were connecting to. And this was when and first when America Online first connected to the internet with the World Wide Web browser. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's around that time it's like, well, there's a TV series. You know, this was all uh, news uh, news groups and stuff like that back then. So, I uh, see. It was it was a lot harder to find stuff back then, but you could, and uh, it was it was fun. Um, as far as you know, how it's how it's worked out for me over the over time, I just uh, the nice thing about the web is anybody can access it and read it, and uh, um, you know people have uh, obviously found it interesting enough over time to, to keep following. So um, I sort of create a mo I create the comic pretty much for myself in a lot of ways. You know, it's mm -hmm. going to be something that appeals to me, yeah. uh, and that's you know hope, I mean, it seems to be matched with a lot of people all at once. I'm curious, like, you know, and how this actually, um, what about this one? Where did you and uh, Ronnie Cass and uh, Largo, where did you guys get your um, your pen names, actually? Well, um, I'm curious. Like, I heard well, actually it was from um, the cast from Canon, I heard. I know you're well, a pretty big fan of that series. It well, uh, Rodney, uh, uh, somebody I knew on, uh, on, uh, on the IRC channel, he used to hang out on it. In fact, he was the annoying guy who used to do the, he'd start talking and he'd speak, and he'd be like, he's just, it's like you get booted out of the channel. <laughs> yeah. Like Lark, I guess where he. It's is. exactly where. Like, yeah, it's exactly right. And uh, you know, he, and he he used to bug me uh, incessantly. He's like, dude, we gotta do, we gotta do a webcom because he was a webcom. Uh huh. I'm like, no, oh, no, no. Finally, he to get him to shut up and started doing something. So that's sort of where it's. And he had he owned the domain domain of megatokyo.com, which Megatokyo first comes from uh, the bubblegum crisis. Mm -hmm. It was the this, this city there, and that's where that. Oh, was now actually. I get and it. He, get it. <laughs> he was a fan of bubblegum crisis. So that's where Largo came from. Uh, and being a fan of Canon, um, you know, my nickname was Piro, was the, the, the Siamese cat from Canon. So, uh, one of the things that people need to remember about nicknames is once you pick them, you better like them because you're going to be stuck with them. For a <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's a, 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 you know, and that's how we sort of we sort of went from there. And as far as the impetus for being took us up, what are we going to do? How about uh, these two, you know, American anime manga gaming fan types? They get on a plane, go to Japan, and they get stuck there. And that's the total extent of our development. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, something like that's like so. I mean, like uh, I'm curious, like what are the other inspirations from like you know for developing like maybe totally like what, you know, I can remember um, like you know just like I'm curious, like why you guys picked um, Japan or like just Tokyo? Oh well, um, you know just uh, being you know it's a, it's a part of what you know our all common interest in the IRC channel to do with you know things like anime and manga and fan subs and things of that nature. Uh, it was just such a, it was just a big interest of ours. Uh, you know, back when I was doing stuff on the internet at that point, mm -hmm. the way that you sort of would get into the community, or one thing you could really do was find a series that didn't have any information about it that you liked, mm -hmm. and do a web page about that. So I did one about Sazanize or 3x3Eyes. Uh, and, you know, we 
you meet people that way and you know, get communication back. Mm -hmm. Fan subbing back at that point was on VHS cassette tapes and <laughs> things like that. So, you know, it was it was fun. Uh, you know, it, it gets spoiled, man. You get, and a, a new series comes out, and next day you've got a translated version of them. Because we used to fan subs. So under the old yeah. school, you had to. You had to wait. You had to wait almost a year or almost an entire season or half, six months or whatever, and then somebody'd have to get the laser discs, and then. That's how long you got to wait for movie versions yeah, to like, stuff now. <laughs> wow, I don't know. How it feels Did you like, know that? Like, when, like, um, what? You know, when the said, movies for I still have a I still have a videotape copy so three or four or fifth gen third generation I think, oh wow of uh, of uh, Evangelion uh, with all the TV commercials that was done <laughs> I see <laughs> so, no, yeah. I think somebody's knocking at the door um or even like, I'm really that's close cool. but anyway, we've only been filming for six minutes yeah okay it's fifteen minutes anyway it's so like anyway I haven't heard about like some of the new the new stuff oh no that um, is us that uh, huh. Pretty sure yeah, they're knocking. Someone's knocking. Yeah, just find out. We can we can keep going. All right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, sure. No problem. I'm curious, like, I, I remember, like, you're working on some new projects, actually, for reason. Like, can you actually say anything about that, actually? Well, sure. Well, Warmth is a project I've technically been working on forever. In fact, that was the one I was working on. Mm -hmm. that I did make Tokyo to get some 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 uh, some experiments with. Uh, but um, it's and that's changed over time. And but. It, I've got at least two other projects. One of them is, is named Warmth, and it still has the same basic kernel. It's mm -hmm. changed a lot. In fact, if you look at if you see the donation piece that I did for the charity auction, mm -hmm. it shows how much part the, a lot when that quake happened. Actually, washed away some of the stuff that I would have originally done with the original idea. So mm -hmm. it's it's just you know things have a tendency to change, and you have to go with the flow of it. You know, characters, yeah. environments, and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. uh, the other one is 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 a, is a lot different, and uh, it's it's more of a trying. I wouldn't say science fiction, but it certainly mixes mm -hmm. in a lot of different things. And it's it's kind of fun to be able to experiment with stuff like that. And I've got sketches of it. If you look post or poke around my site, you'll find them. So. Yeah. And um, really quick, too, like last thing to before we have to wrap sure. it up. So, I mean, you know, uh, this is, I think like, your, your first time here at Anime Expo, I believe. I was here for a half day once. <laughs> was mm -hmm. first time I, heard, I, like, yeah. I heard like your yeah. first time being like all here all four oh, days, absolutely. you're doing panels yes. and stuff like that. You scared of the crowd yet? <laughs> yeah, so, so, so what are you looking forward to actually for this convention? Oh, and her, like, you know, you're, you're going to meet, you know, Hatsune, obviously. Oh yeah, that'll that'll be fun. It's, it's kind of nice to, to meet, uh, you know, the various people who you know come from from them, like us. Yes, I'm looking forward to meeting Matsumoto Sensei. It was a very big influence on me, obviously. Awesome. Right, we we always got Matsumoto Sensei. Yeah. Yep. So uh, looking forward to that, and also um, it's really very enjoyable to come to a convention, and meet readers and you know, be fans, or even people who haven't really discovered it yet. It's just. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a very rewarding thing to, to talk to people who are you know buy your stuff. And, um, places you know cons conventions like this is just a lot of fun to see the energy. Oh yeah, just see a lot like of the, you know you meet you see people you haven't seen in a while or you know people or people you've seen only online and that's a really nice thing about these places. There's a physicality to it that you know the, the net's pretty distributed. Yeah, I think meeting right. the yeah just having the chance to meet all the various people I think that's probably one of the things it's, I really enjoy. And I'm really ca casual and open music going and uh, I try to. Just to show people that you, Mind know, if you I don't have to be a professional. Zoom and get a better shot of your shirt. Huh? Oh, the yeah. bottom two shirts. Bottom really two shirts. Cool. Tokyo, nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, anything else like you would like to say, like you know, com. about like just the um, you know, just for like for the blog or anything like else <laughs> before we uh, before we have to move on uh, to oh, the next well, one. Oh, you know, I, it's just a uh, well, it's, it's it's good to be here, and um, I'm you know, it's a, I'm being an East Coast. I'm from Michigan, so I don't usually yeah, most of the places I'll go is just mostly the East Coast uh, type type things, just because it's so difficult to get all the way out here with stuff. Yeah, so you it's have to like, uh, prepare everything. Got to like combine. Got to yeah. it's, it's, it's hard to get out here, but uh, you know, it's it's really good to, to. I know there are a lot of fans, a lot of people out here, and it's really good to be able to come out to, every once in a while when I can to to, 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 to see all the people in the West Coast here. And, uh, mm -hmm. It's really nice to be here. It's it's a, it's fun. The time I've been out to San Diego Comic Con a couple of times, and I've, yeah. I've been looking forward to doing the show for a yeah. long time. Well, and really quickly too, one more, one more thing too. Mm -hmm. So um, as like you know, relatively you know successful web comic artist and creator. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what are like any suggestions or like you know, things that you want to like say for like other people like let's say, like myself and, and your and your friend who oh. wants also like aspire to be like you know a comic artist like well that, the, like that. yeah well the, the, the trick is to actually do it I mean it's a lot of people will spend a lot of time thinking about it and, and sort of fiddling with it and, no it's, you know, the thing about web comics is is that they work really great because you got mm. you're building content you're building audience and you're also getting better as you do things so by the time you get to the point maybe you're starting to put out stuff people really like you already got a backlog. You've already done a lot of exposure. You know, it's 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 an excellent form for that. So the trick is to start. Right, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank, thank you so much for your time. Hey, Olivia, oh, no do you have a photo? Can we get a photo of you real quick? Sure. Sure. You want to? Sure. Let me just.